see how red Moscato is. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you don't have the mic set up. Oh, you got it plugged in. All right, it's high in the sky Friday. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us tonight. As you guys are coming on, check in, let us know where you're painting from. What are you sipping tonight? I've seen some of your some of your recipes and your sips, what you're drinking. <laughs> I just poured a little bottle of red Moscato from my Zeus Fairy that dropped it off today. That's it. Yeah, yeah, this is supposed to be highly anticipated, so we're giving some time for everybody to check in with us. Thanks for painting with us tonight. And please keep in mind that we will be saving this video in the discussion of the event as soon as we conclude this evening. Yes, we will keep this All right, so now we've got Naima Hi, from Virginia. Welcome. Christina Mina <laughs> is back with us tonight. Hi, Christina. Aw, hi, Christina. All right. Kiara, Erin, Savarine is back. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, sweetie. Anya is here. Hi, hi Anya. Anya. Kimberly Ann Pinnell is from Maine. We've got Shannon Kohler. Hi, Shannon. Anne Marie. Stop. All right. We've got Leo Maria Alfaro from Toronto. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> welcome. And Diana Southwick is from Maine. Welcome, welcome. Love me. All right. Now, Kristen Moore says, is it just me or a little too a little hard to hear? It may be right because... We just switched the mic over. Yes. Let me just make sure. Checking it yeah. again. Should be good now. Just turn the volume up on your side. You right, turn right. Your... Kristen says uh, hello from Providence. Hello. And Kimberly Adams from South Carolina. Welcome, South Carolina. Kristen Moore is here with us. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Cab Ma. Hi, from Virginia Beach. Janine and Joe. Uh, yeah. Chicka tea, my new favorite place. <laughs> Chicka tea. Chicka tea. Oh, we got Tammy back from the Poconos. Hi, Tammy from the Poconos. <laughs> Shannon <laughs> is from Massachusetts. That's where. Oh, awesome. Rascal. You need to relax. Oh, Needy is back here with us. Hi. We're excited to have you guys back. If you're a first timer with us, please let us know. Rascal. Beep, beep. All right, I gotta turn this down a little bit. Smidge. Yeah. Sorry. Meditation music. All right, we've got Jessica Gray coming in from Clifton, Maine. Welcome. All right, Danielle and Gary is back. All right, we got local. We got Winnie Ling Looper. I'm local in Piscataway. Awesome. Welcome, Winnie. We've got Pat from Kingston, Ontario. Hello, Pat. Thanks for painting with us tonight, guys. All right, now it's Allison from Hamburg. So glad to be back painting with you. Aw, thanks for painting with us. Yes, we've got Beth and Patrick in Piscataway. Friends. That's great. Uh huh. And we've got Rachel saying good morning. <laughs> good you know morning. Rachel. You know where she's from, right? Rachel, <laughs> we got it's, it's 
Rachel. You're going to be the first pin I put on the map. All right, yeah, we got the map. We finally got the map. Yeah, everybody, Rachel is uh, calling from, wow. she's calling from New Zealand. Yeah. So it's morning for her, so everybody wish her a good morning, please. How cool is that? Yeah, that is cool, super cool. <laughs> Wake up to us. Uh, yeah, now Winnie, Winnie is saying it's hard for me to hear too. My volume is all the way up. Oh, let's check. Uh, my volume is supposed to be down, right? You, yeah, volume on the computer should not be anywhere. Everything's connected. Let's go back. Is anybody else having a hard time? That's cool. I'm sorry. I yeah, my volume is you. down. I need you. Connections are... Uh, take it out and put uh, it back uh, in. Uh, no. Oh, so we don't have connection sorry. all the way. Sorry for my arm. There it was. Click, click. There we go. That should be better I now. think that should be better now. Sorry. All right. <laughs> now uh, we've got we've got <laughs> May from Chicago. Cool. Okay. Yeah. We're almost ready to go here. We've got a nice, nice crowd tonight. Awesome, guys. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this paint. Well, first, let's tell you about us. So, for you, if you're a first-timer, I'm Jennifer. Mark is behind the computer. We are Mimosas and Masterpieces. We are out of Southbound Brook, New Jersey. We typically would be going out and doing this in person. And since everything has happened, we've been doing this virtually. But we're getting ready to go back. We are getting back to in-person events outdoors for now um kind of a limited group but anyway so i've been doing this virtually it's been amazing meeting kind of like eve meeting so many of you all over the world um i never could have imagined that so thank you guys for joining us and sticking with us and hanging out with us we take your feedback well, i take it like very seriously um we always take suggestions for new paintings. We've been doing all of these for free. Um, we have started posting a couple that are $5 events if you'll, when you go through the events. So I have a long, long list of suggestions from all of you. Sometimes something hits me more than another thing. In the dozens of requests that we've had, nobody, nobody requested a hot air balloon. So I was chatting with another person that, her name is Diane, she's probably on with us now. Uh, I was chatting with her about our paint and meditate, which didn't actually end up happening. We just had a low turnout and I think we just kind of sprung it on you guys there a bit. Um, it's just a different way of doing things. But we were talking about a paint and meditate. We began talking a little bit about um, a friend of mine, Nikki, who is a psychic medium and she teaches intuition classes. And um, the very next day, I needed to paint a hot air balloon painting. I have no idea why, it just was not on the list. I needed to do it, and I painted it, and I had to get it out. <laughs> so we got it out, and I posted it. And as soon as I posted the event, Diane messaged me and said, I needed to see that hot air balloon. We <laughs> are meant to bring messages somehow, somewhere. I was telling her about my friend who does intuition classes, and I said, I think I need to listen to my own advice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what made me do it, but as soon as I was done talking to Diane, that's where this whole hot air balloon thing came. I had no idea, but she told us that um, her grandmother passed away 13 years ago. She was very close to her, and before she passed away, all she wanted to do was go on a hot air balloon. So she was just meant to see that message, and that's just the way that we connected. Um, we've been just, you know, we love getting to meet you, listen to your stories, listen to your life, get friendly with you. Um, please, you're welcome to friend request me on my personal page. Um, nothing to hide. Um, we are just, we love everybody. We appreciate everything that you guys are all doing with us. Um, thank you for being with us. I'll stop rambling. Let's take a sip. Let's get our, let's get our stuff. Yeah, let me, check the, let me check this audio again, please. Yeah. There's people still saying that they can't hear. Sorry. Check, check. Right, since our volume is at the maximum, we really can't hear you, Jennifer. Try again. Sorry. Maybe it was just not connected all the way. I don't know. Um, Hopefully that's better. Check, 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 check. <laughs> we 
let's go over our supplies for this evening. I will try and shout a little bit more so you can hear me. I have a 16 by 20 canvas. We're going to use it landscape. Um, I have, we're going to work with two brushes today, a flat brush, which is about three quarters of an inch to an inch, depending on what you have. That's fine. And we'll work with a round brush, kind of similar to this. If you have a smaller one, a finer one, or smaller details, maybe like in our basket, you can go to the smaller one, but this one should be just fine. Um, our paints tonight, I'm using acrylics. All of your primaries, blue, yellow, red, black, and white. That's it. Um, paper towels to dry your brushes, a cup of water to rinse your brushes, make sure your workspace is covered, an easel if you have one. Um, Anybody have any questions, let me know. I will repeat steps as we go. I'll That's give you right. some time to get stuff done. We'll chat about upcoming events. And I'll close up in, in and uh, Mark will zoom time. if we need to. Right. There's not a whole lot of zoom needed, I don't think. Okay. But, um, well, we got a bunch of newcomers here. Okay. Um, didn't get a chance to shout out for everybody. Oh, okay. We do now, a couple more. Just this one name here. Uh oh. Catherine Inquisitive Kyle. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> We've got Kimby Long from Colorado. Welcome. All right, Courtney Fall, first timer. Laurel Jarp, first timer, New Jersey. Awesome. Welcome Kimberly Jersey. Ann Pinnell says first time with you. Ah, welcome. And Catherine, oh, Catherine Inquisitive Kyle is a first time. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, guys. We hope that this one you enjoy and you come back with us again. Right, right. We've got Lisa Medeiros. Lisa. Hello from New Bedford, Mass. Two sisters and our 84-year-old mom. Oh, hi, mom. Do it tonight. I love it. That's so cool. Yes. We love seeing your family photos when you send us your pictures at the end of this. Please send us your photos. We love them. We will put together a slideshow for you guys in a couple of days from now once we have everybody's paintings. Um, I will post at the end of the video. We'll post the video, and then in the discussion, I'll post a thank you along with our um, Venmo or PayPal for tips or um, gratuities, uh -huh. if you should choose. They are not expected, but very appreciated since we're, we've been doing this for free for the past couple of months. Yes. Um, yes. But let's get started, all right? Uh, so, just one more, one more person. Oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. We've got another person from New Zealand saying good morning. It's Tegan Andrews. Good morning, Tegan. Yes, good morning. Thank we you. love it when people come from <laughs> all over. Jessica Chin. Hi, Jessica. Trisha in Paris, a bat from New Hartford, New York. Awesome. Welcome, okay. guys. Uh, Jessica, I can't wait to watch the replay and go at my <laughs> pace later. <laughs> That's woo, woo. certainly fine. <laughs> That's certainly fine. We do any of our free events. We will post the video in the discussion. You can go to our past events and pull those up that way. They are in the event discussions. Right. She says she loves your dress. I love, it's a shirt. All right, thank we just got to make sure that everybody can hear. <laughs> everybody okay, good? You know, now, I, I, know I'm, I, I mean, there's a lot of people here tonight. Okay. So I'm finally getting to the bottom of the comments, and now everybody's saying, I can hear you, I can hear okay. you, I can hear you. Wonderful. Uh, yes, D. Bagshaw in Central Pennsylvania. Welcome. We still got people joining in. <laughs> okay, just maybe just give another, another minute, minute or two, two. Please, Okay, no problem. Because people are still joining in. You got it. All right, have a sip, everybody. Yeah, have a sip. <laughs> and let's ev let everybody get settled before we sorry. start blazing the trail here. All right, sorry. Um, you know, it's it's a good Friday. It is uh, a wonderful because uh, it's a lot of people here tonight. Um, so yeah, I wasn't able to, I wasn't uh, you know, I wasn't <laughs> able to keep up with so many people checking in. And then I gave a story. Sorry. That's all right. No, but the, the story, story was important. Me, yeah, the story was helping me. <laughs> see all these names, all these people that the are coming The story in. was important to me. That's all good. Is Diane yeah. with us yet? I don't know. If yeah, we've got a nice kids. little crowd tonight. Awesome. We're not going to waste your time. We're going to get down here and start getting to this painting. We, we knew this was a an, much anticipated. Yeah, uh, you guys, um, something that I never really looked at until this whole COVID thing was kind of like on our you know the business page what the reach was on things right. um, I never really paid much of attention because I was very excited to hopefully hit 500 people this year as you know liked my page and we're very close to 3,000 we're almost there guys yeah um, so seeing the reach of every single event this one I think you guys between re with between shares and tags you've reached over 36,000 people with me just posting the event and you guys liking it Send and it sharing it, it. so 
it now, was. Now, D wants to know the colors. The colors that yes. we're using today. So colors again are our five primary colors: red, yellow, blue, black, and white. That's all. We okay. will mix the other colors. We're gonna mix the other colors. Yep. Okay. Red. All right. Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Red, yellow, blue, black, white. I'm going to start with that flat brush. Rinse and dry. Always rinse and dry before we start. Uh huh. This is gonna sound a little bit strange, but I want you to take it and just dip it in a little bit of black. So a little bit of black on that brush. Okay. I know this is gonna sound strange, but I want you to paint the very top of your canvas, the edge, the top edge of the canvas. Black? Black. All the way across. Okay. You kind of want to give it the effect of like almost a, a sunset the sky is kind of dark up top. So I want to get that dark edge all the way at the top. Christina says she needs to save this one as she needs to do and run some errands, but <laughs> she loves right. to pick and she's looking forward to the meet and greet. Uh, yes, meet and greet. We are so excited to do that. Just be safe doing your running and your running around and uh, That's right. come back and you play the video later when you want. <laughs> yeah. This all right, so you're going to paint the top of yep. the canvas all black. I just painted that top edge all the way black, all the way across. And you okay. got a little on the top there. On the it's okay. okay. It's okay that it comes down onto your canvas. No problem. All right. Okay, so black on the top first. Keep that same brush. I don't want you to rinse and dry it this time. All right. You're just going to grab blue with that dirty brush. Blue with that dirty brush. Yeah. Let's go all the way across in a horizontal brush stroke all the way across your canvas. All right. About a brush length. So yeah, about a brush width across. Let's do that to start. I'm almost kind of grabbing a little bit of that black and blending the blue and the black together okay. on the canvas. So just horizontal brush strokes right to left. So what I like to do is when you do those little brush strokes and you get kind of those little edge marks of your brush, yes. if you don't like that look, just take your brush and come all the way across and then just smooth them all out. All right. All right. We're going to grab a little more blue. More blue and we're just going to keep going. I want you to come down about four inches. Now you didn't rinse your brush, right? Nope. Same so brush. Get some more blue. Yep, more blue. I just want you to come down about four inches with that blue. If you still have too much black in your brush, yeah. you can rinse and dry it. After you put the blue in there. Yeah, once you do this stripe of blue up top, if it seems like you still have a lot of black in your brush, yeah. you can rinse and dry. Okay. Okay, otherwise I'm just going to grab some blue, grab those edges of the canvas as you go, and then we're going to bring that blue down about four inches. All right. Four inches, maybe four brush widths. All the way across. Nice crowd for a Friday night to start awesome. the weekend off. We are going to rinse and dry after you get a couple of inches of blue on there. Okay. want to get that black out of the brush. So again, we just started with that flat brush, a little bit of black at a time, right on the top of our canvas. Right. I kept the same brush and just went into blue. We brushed the blue right below that black, right across. We're kind of blending the black and the blue right across the top, about one brush width. And then grabbed more blue and just brought that down about three, four inches. That's about four inches and then rinse and dry that brush. Okay. Okay. If I go too fast, I want you guys to slow me down, okay? Don't you worry. <laughs> Mark usually slows me down. All right, so I want you to now grab a corner of white and a corner of blue. So take your brush, yeah. stick it with that flat brush. Let's show them. Corner of white and a corner of blue. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put that right up against the blue where we ended. So if you need to grab a little bit more, 
corner of white, corner of blue, right across there. And we're gonna blend. So small brush strokes, right to left. I want you to pull it up into the blue and then come down. Okay, so just right to left brush strokes over what you did, bring it up into the blue and then pull it down. Right to left, up into your blue and pull down. So when you finish that, mm -hmm. can you please repeat those steps because Anita says to please wait. Okay, yep. Okay, Anita, so after your black and your blue that you're bringing down about four inches, right. you're taking a corner of white and a corner of blue mm -hmm. on that flat brush. You're just gonna line it right up underneath this, the blue that you finished. With the white underneath? Yeah, it actually doesn't really matter, but. Okay, so yes. just the white and the blue underneath that with which you just, which you just made. Right. And then you're just going to use those horizontal brush strokes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Rhea, not Anita. So, <laughs> right to left. And then we're bringing it up into the blue and then pulling it down. So right to left brush strokes. We're just kind of blending right on the canvas. Okay. Make sure you get those edges. And I would take it that everyone else is working on the same thing at this time. We want to come down just a little bit more with that blue. So we should have about, so if you're using a regular brush, should be about maybe as tall as your brush handle, okay? So bring it down as tall as your brush is, the length of your brush. We want to bring that light blue, getting lighter as we go down, down to the end of that brush. So it's okay. probably about halfway, maybe a little less than halfway on your canvas. So I'm just going to continue to brush right to left bringing that down. Okay. If you need to add a little bit more, little corner of white, corner of blue, just keep doing that. All the way down. Yep. And you, you can, want it all blended. Right. You can, I want you to get it lighter as we go down. Okay. Okay. And, but it's also important to know, like this is not going to look exactly like that one. Yours is not going to look exactly like mine. Right. Okay. Everyone is going to have an individual painting and you can create whatever colors you want in the background. You don't have to follow my lead. I'm just here to guide you a little. Right. Okay. All you gotta do is come back to this page, click on the event section, <laughs> go to each event, each painting that, we, that we've done over the past few months, and when you click on that, you'll see the slideshow. <laughs> and look at everybody who joined us for those nights and even afterwards when they looked at the videos True. and um, see their variations, see the way people are creative with their own paintings, right. which I'm sure everyone's doing tonight. <laughs> we do want you to rinse and dry after you get that blue on there. And then why don't you guys give us kind of a thumbs up that you're ready to move on to the next step. Right. And if anybody's having any difficulties or any we'll issues, and you let us know and we'll clear them up before we move on to the next <laughs> step. Yep. Now. So now that we have time and we're waiting for everybody to catch up with us, keep in mind that we'll be back tomorrow, but we're going to be back early. That's 11 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing drink, sip, repeat. So I will show you how to paint both a teacup yeah. or a coffee cup, if that's what you want to call it, or okay. a wine glass. Oh, okay, a wine glass now. So I will show you how to do both. Okay. Oh, so if you're gonna you're gonna paint a wine glass, or you're gonna drink wine in the morning? No, no, a mimosa. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We're mimosas and masterpieces. <laughs> exactly. When are we gonna get some mimosas in here? There you go. Tomorrow. All right, I'm down for that. <laughs> I don't drink liquor, but um, I'll I'll drink a mimosa. <laughs> yeah. Now that day, uh, 11 a.m. We're gonna start that. And then uh, we'll be back on Sunday, the 28th. We're going to be doing a double header. Yeah. At 3 p.m. is going to be the start time for the first one. And that's going to be in this house. There is a sketch oh, for 
the bottom part of this that you need to pre-draw to your canvas. Oh, okay, before okay. they before they join yep. us for the painting? We'll go over kind of painting all the little details in the background together. Okay. But before you sign on with us, print out the decal, the, the sketch, and get that to your canvas before we start. Okay, all right. And that's going to be, we're starting at 3 p.m. Yep. On Sunday, the 28th. And then we'll take a break once we're done with that, and we'll come right back at 7 p.m., with the booze fairies. It's going to be a really quick break. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a really quick break. This is another much anticipated one because in our section of uh, <laughs> of our section of New Jersey, we have a lot of booze fairies. I think that it's all over. <laughs> I guess it is all over, but I know it's prevalent here in New Jersey. We have the booze fairies. I don't know about you guys in New Hampshire <laughs> and Massachusetts and, uh, and all over. I don't know about booze fairies where you guys are, but we have booze fairies. Uh, Jennifer has been the recipient of about six booze fairies now. Yeah, dusting. Uh, I think that's a little unusual for most people, <laughs> but uh, hey, I don't know what to say. So parents, if you want your kids to paint the fairies, don't worry. They can just put magic wands in the fairies' hands. And you'll show them how to put the magic yes, wands in the hands? Will. Okay, there so they won't be painting booze. No, there is, however, a sketch of just the fairies in the event so that you can pre-draw that if you want to. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, so, so far we've got Needy is ready. Awesome, all right. Julie is ready. Let's do it. All right, we're rinsing and drying that flat brush. We're gonna go right back to that flat brush. Okay. So this time we're gonna do a corner of yellow and a corner of white. Corner of yellow, a corner of white. And this time I do want you to line up the white underneath your blue. Oh. So white under the blue. So corner of yellow, corner of white. Get it kind of a, almost like you're doing stripes right on that canvas. Okay. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. Brush over it, we're gonna brush up into the blue and then bring it down. So right to left, brushing right over left. it. Brushing over it. Brush up into your blue. Up into the blue. And then bring this down. And then bring it down, be, oh, past? Right. Okay. Yep, we're going to come down about another brush width. Okay. If not, a little bit more, you can come down. So right to left, up into the blue, and then bring it down. We're just blending right on canvas. Right to left, up into your blue, and then bring it down. If you don't have enough paint on there, just grab a little bit more. I think I'm going to close in just a little bit more. Okay. Right to left, I want you to bring it up into that blue. You're going to see a little bit of green start to form, and that's okay. Oh, Anya has an announcement. Oh, Anya, tell us. Hi. Hi. I'm ready. You're ready. Today, my 16-year-old brother is painting with you for the first Aww, time. Aw, you got your What's brother to paint. Congratulations. Well, we're so happy you're painting with us. Yeah, see, it's getting contagious, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, he must be seeing all of your artwork that you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Anya told him he was about to start a gallery. She was about to start a gallery. And he says, what? Now, where did that come from? Where did all these paintings come from? Anya will be our spotlight artist next month, next week, next mm -hmm. week. All right, again, I want you to do the same thing. We're gonna do one more, one more round of that white and yellow. You could probably lighten that up a little bit more. Really? We're gonna, gonna add to that, but first, yellow. So we're taking that a little lower than halfway down our canvas. A little lower than halfway? A little more than halfway. Yep. I mean, if you want a bigger sky, you can have a bigger sky. If you want more water, then leave your sky a little bit higher up. Mm -hmm. Grab those edges. I can't see that side, so I don't do the, the right edge. What <laughs> do you side. mean? <laughs> I never can see that side. I can see it. It's good. Okay, good. <laughs> and that would be Holly screaming upstairs. The bird. 
You think they can hear? Oh, well, yeah, they can hear. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. They can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Holly just wants attention. Yeah. All the animals do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So once we've got that yellow on there, the same brush, you don't need to rinse and dry. Okay. I want you to grab a big corner of white and a little tiny bit of red. All right. Can you push that up closer to the? Because they want to see just how tiny little red, how tiny, tiny the red is. Red. The red goes a long way. A little bit goes right, a long that's, way. That is a little corner. That's a little right. tiny bit of red. A little tiny bit. So we're barely touching it. All right. Okay. So where we left off with the yellow, we're going to overlap that last brush width of yellow. Okay. Okay. But you want the red on You want the red on top? Or the, it doesn't matter because I just matter. want you to blend it in. Okay. You just want to blend that lower part of the yellow. Yep. You're going to kind of keep going over it till it turns almost orange. So, little tiny bit of red, scoop of white, you can kind of flip it if you want to. You just want to blend so you get a little bit of orange in there. Okay. Now if it's not orange enough for you, if you want to add a tiny bit more of red at a time, grab a little tiny bit more at a time. Just be careful. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's kind of like orange, pink, so you make the, the sunset whatever color you want it to be. All right. Okay, this is all yours. Remember, we're just here to kind of guide you. Everybody's painting is going to come out differently. And rinse and dry. All right. All right, give everybody a minute to kind of catch up to that part. All right, and while we're doing that, while we're waiting for everybody to catch up, we'll continue on with the next upcoming events. Um, we just ended uh, the month of June with the Booze Fairies, mm -hmm. and then we're going to open up July with the Christmas Hippo <laughs> and have Christmas in July. That'll be Thursday, July 2nd, 7 p.m. We're going to open up July with Christmas, <laughs> the way Jennifer has intended for many years now. <laughs> All right, now, uh, after that July 2nd, I don't see anything here on the list of upcoming events until Sunday, July 5th, which is our first um, Zoom yes. pay Zoom event. Right, so our once we start switching some of our events to Zoom events, they are paid, they're only $5 events. Right. Um, we will go through Zoom and we will not be saving the videos. So you have to be live with us right. in order to um, in order to do them. Um, we just need to start transitioning to sort of making money, <laughs> right. getting back to making As we're going money. back out on the road, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going back out now. So, um, so yes, and it's five dollars. It's not. Not to do too much. If anybody That's has Sunday. any issue, let us know. That'll be Sunday, July 5th. And that is Stitch in the Sand. Did you say what that was? Yeah, Stitch in the Sand, up in the right-hand corner. Yeah, what's going on with you, I don't rascal? Know, he probably has to go outside. You got to go to the bathroom? Come on. What's that? I'll let you out. Mommy's busy right now. <laughs> All right, Stitch in the Sand is up there in the right-hand corner of, yep. the, of your screen. You can see it right up there. And that starts at what time? That's an evening? Yes, that is a, I don't know if it's 7 or 8 o'clock. But I think it's 7 p.m. Yes. You can check the events in the Mimosas and Masterpieces page. Come on, Rascal. Go outside. You're jumping around like you got to do. You got to go, go to the side. bathroom. Go. Go, go, go. He's, He's not going to go. Don't jump on me. <laughs> he ain't going without me. Oh, so then he don't have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Rinse and dry that brush. And then I'm going to have you mix. So Sit down, Rascal. We're going to grab a little bit of our blue and a little of our red. So we want you to make a purple color. Okay. So that is going to be the beginning of our water back here. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna switch brushes. We're going to go to the smaller brush to start with that. Okay. Okay. 
Again, if I'm going too fast, just let me know if you need me to repeat something. Okay, so I mixed little blue, little red, made a darker purple color here, like a violet. Uh huh. Okay, so we want to do a straight line all the way across. I know straight line is difficult. <laughs> yeah. Straight line is difficult, but as straight as we can, all the way across. And of course, mine is always on like a diagonal because I'm looking at it sideways. So <laughs> let's see if I can do this right. It's fine. All the way across. I guess it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. The water's a little choppy, right? Yes. <laughs> it's a good excuse. Is it straight? Straight as you can get it. Not bad, not bad. All right. So we got some purple in there for our horizon. Okay. All right. So, same brush. So, again, I'm, I'm out with this smaller round brush. So we want to start making our shadows in the water. We're going to start making the dark parts of the water. So instead of brushing the entire thing like we did our sky, we're going to use just small brush strokes with that small brush. So I'm just going to brush this. We're going to do, we're going to come down about maybe an inch with this purple. And I'm just making small brush strokes, horizontal brush strokes with that purple. We are going to overlap them with other colors, okay. but for now, just brush, little brush strokes. Yeah, right. can you do that slower so they can see how you're stroking? <laughs> yeah. So we're just and you're going all the way across like that. Yep, A little all the way across. And then bringing it back to overlap. Yeah, I'm kind of overlapping them. Because that's how you're going to give it that sea effect, that watery effect. Like it's moving, yep. Like there's movement in the water. So all the way across, about an inch down. Okay, see now you're going the opposite way again. No, uh, it's just that I've moved my... You're moving your wrist right back yeah. and forth. That doesn't matter then. No, you just want small horizontal brush strokes all the way across. Okay, whether you However you get them on there, whether it's you fine, use a brush, your fingers. fine, as long as you get small brush strokes fingers. like that. <laughs> okay. Whatever it takes. Oh, okay, so you can be creative as you want, figure yeah, out how to make absolutely. your way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You said use your finger? Go for it. Okay, <laughs> cool. Finger painting. You know how some of these people are. Go for it. You know how some of these people are. They will use their finger. <laughs> Somebody will. <laughs> awesome. You know, I mean, that's why I ask the questions that I ask, because I'm thinking that's, that's what some people are thinking that, or that's fine. they just need to hear that. <laughs> so, about an inch down. And cool. then you'll determine where you want your hot air balloon. It does not have to be in the right side like mine is. You okay. can move it wherever you want to. Oh. Wherever your balloon is going to be, we want that shadow reflecting in the water oh. with that purple. So that's okay. why it's important to know where your balloon's going to go. So if my balloon's going to come up here. We want that shadow reflecting down here. So I'm going to start with a small bit of that purple. Okay. And I'm gonna make it wider as I get to the bottom. So it looks like the reflection or the shadow of the balloon in the water. You're using those same type of strokes that same you did? Same brush strokes. I'm just, we'll end up going over it with other colors. Okay, cause yeah, cause, cause I didn't think they could see it with your hand in the way cause you're doing it. Okay. So it's almost like a reflection or an upside down balloon. Cool. Or upside down light bulb shape there. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be filling it in. Yep. Okay. We work with the darkest color first and then go to light. Okay. And then you can rinse and dry. Is that the standard operating procedure? Standard operating procedure? Yeah, you go to the dark and work to work to the That's what I like to do. Start with the dark and then work with the light later. I always like to work from the darkest up to the lightest when I do those kind of things. I mean, because that's what you did with the back, I mean, with the horizon. You started with the dark and you came all the way down and then it got lighter. I mean, you can always go backwards. Okay, so it's not a problem. No. Well, every artist has their own way of doing things. Okay. I just like to start with the dark and then go to light. All right. That's good. <laughs> All right, so now we're waiting for everybody to yep, finish. We'll give everybody a minute or so to start get that on there. Part the beginning parts of their C. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, so yeah, so we start now to the month of July with Christmas theme, <laughs> Christmas, the theme. Christmas hippo, and then stitch in the I'm sand. I'm going to give you so some sand for the snow that's coming far up. Far so. streams, okay, from, <laughs> from the whole cold uh, feeling, even though I don't see no snow, but it's Christmas hippo. <laughs> the snowman's after stitch. Exactly, but <laughs> stitches in the sand. And uh, now, that that's Sunday, July 5th. That's gonna be a. That's our first. That's our first Zoom. Right. Uh, pay event. Yeah. Okay. And then that Thursday, July 9th, big <laughs> big deal. That's our Zoom meet and greet. Put that in your calendar. Q and A, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We want to meet you. We want, want you to come you. and join us. Um, yes. We'll begin the meet and greet at 7 p.m. Uh, it will be on there. As long as as long as, as long we can as get it, all this yeah. information from you that we need, uh, we'll you can there, ask as us long questions. As <laughs> right, you can ask us questions. Um, we need lots of feedback. Okay, I'm gonna have a nice long list of questions to ask about. <laughs> uh, you know, what do you think would make this better? Okay, um, what 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 are the what are the best times to do these things? Um, see, right now we're in the summer months, and um, yeah, that's you know our. It's our our business has usually slowed down a little bit during the summer months, even though she gets bookings and then they'll be way months in advance, so we don't end up having no lag off. Okay, mm -hmm. this coronavirus really ruined everything because she had a lot of bookings for the summer. We did. Okay, um, however, when the summer ends, we we'll still get a lot more bookings because now people are going to be in the house. It's getting cold. Schools back. Um, you know, all of the charities, all of the, you know, all of those things are needing uh, events and stuff to fundraise and stuff like that. So that's when we really get busy, okay? And now that we've discovered this virtual painting, and we know that in the winter months, people will be home. People <laughs> will be staying in the house, and they will that be wanting will. to paint on the weekends, you know, instead of uh, watching football or whatever, you know, that people do on the weekends. I don't know they watch that. sports, you know. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but people will be more than happy to sit around the table and paint, or you know, in a nice room, and it's just it's just such a stress relieving therapeutic. Once everybody's back to work and back to school, they're gonna want to paint at night. <laughs> but we need to know what are the right times and what yeah. to do about people who are in different time zones, and so it's gonna be a lot that we would like to have addressed. Yeah, on the 9th of, uh, on the 9th of July at 7 sure. p.m., so please join us that night. All right, we're rinsing and drying from that purple, and I'm going to go to blue, so just my straight blue. So my blue is, is a lighter blue. I don't know what color blue you have, but anyway, so I'm just going to the blue. Okay. And we're going to kind of overlap some of that purple. All right. Let's yes, see. because um, Rhea says, my seed looks more feathery than okay. sea-like. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to overlap some of that purple. About half an inch of that purple. We're going to go across. Only a half an inch of the purple. About okay. a half an inch Not of the purple. All of it. And then we want you to come down with that blue. Same strokes. Same little brush strokes. I'm kind of working around. Your shadow? Around that shadow. Again, I'm kind of going over about a half an inch of that shadow. Okay. Maybe a little more. Yes, Rhea says, I love painting. You know what? Uh, a lot of the, a lot of our audience, you can tell. <laughs> the ones that come back every time we come on, we know they love painting. We do. So again, let's bring down that blue about an inch. Okay, and then in the rest of your seed, let's do some, um, you could do some random blue in there. We don't have to fill it in. Okay. Okay. So we're going to overlap some of that purple, bring down the blue about an inch. Yeah, you're doing some mixing and stuff, so I'm going to close in okay. just right. a little bit. All right, all right. So overlapping the purple about a half an inch all the way across, bring it down about an inch, and then... In the rest of your ocean, you're going to do a couple of like random blues in there. Okay? So, again. Excuse me. Coming over about an inch, or over about a half an inch, overlapping that purple. 
oh yeah, you got them all busy, all concentrating. And then come down about an inch with that glue. Same strokes. Same little brush strokes, yep. Well, you know, we are really, really thankful tonight um, that so many people have joined us tonight, you know, because um, the last few last few days has been, uh, you know, our, our faithful audience has been yeah, showing up. Yeah, everybody's been here. And it's we've okay. been getting newcomers, but it's just been, you know, a, sort of a low turnout. And we wasn't sure how this Friday would be because of the summer months, and, and now that uh, it's a Friday and people are getting out and about now for, <laughs> for a change. But uh, we're really, really happy that so many of you came to join us tonight. Yeah, listen, we always, you know, for me, it does, whether there's five of you or a hundred of you, it doesn't really matter. That's the truth. That's the truth. I am here doing this because I enjoy doing it. Um, I, it's not, I, you'll hear me say this every time I do this, it is not about putting paint on a canvas. Right. It's about having a fun experience. It's about some downtime. It's about creating a memory whether it's with your family that you're with tonight, whether it's meeting other people, or hopefully we make you laugh a little bit because we are we could be a little silly sometimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just creating a little bit of memory. We want to put some positive out there because there's so much negative going on. So we certainly need more of that in the world. And if we can help doing that in a little way, then we've done our job tonight. There you go. So again, overlapping that purple about a half of an inch all the way across, bringing it down about an inch. And then kind of like randomly putting some blues down there in the water. Yeah. Okay. So kind so of give us a, give our um, audience a chance to yep. finish up that area. Can you? They're yeah. not slow. Okay, they've been keeping up with you. So. <laughs> yeah, just let us know when you're ready. Get yourself some a of us sip. Can get and what were you getting ready to ask me? Give again? you. I was gonna say, can you unzoom? Oh, can I can unzoom, unzoom now. Unzoom now. Want to show them some more. So we've also created. Um, I've begun creating because we have such an, an awesome following of kids. Right, um, right. We, we created a virtual kids camp. So this will be at a minimum of eight weeks of painting for kids. And adults, if you want to join us, you can join us too. Right, that's throughout the summer. Duh. Rascal, Rascal wants to join too. <sighs> He's whining at me. All right, so we've taken all of the kids' suggestions mm -hmm. and we've put them to our virtual kid camp. So every week, it's midweek, it could be, I was trying to keep it on Tuesday, Wednesdays, but it could be any day of the week, depending on when we're around. We're trying to do it at six o'clock. Um, but and again- We can still talk about this on we Thursday. Can. We just wanted to start getting the word out there because we're so close to it. Right. So on the 16th is gonna be the first um, kids camp day. So here's the ones that are done so far. This is Pug in a Mug. Pug in a Mug. <laughs> Cool Koala. Cool Koala. Henry the Hedgehog. Henry the Hedgehog. <laughs> okay. It's so funny. Because I, I, when you showed it to me, I was like, I don't know what that is. It's a hedgehog. <laughs> and the one that's gotten the most chuckles and giggles <laughs> since we had to put a poll up and ask, what, what is it, guys? What is it? So we called it. Alpaca the llama. Just so we Alpaca cover. Alpaca the llama. Okay, <laughs> so that was good. So that's what they came. That's what they finally came up with. Well, that's Alpaca what I, the llama. Well, we were gonna call it a lapaca. <laughs> I called it a camel. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we have pigs flying, but it's not with wings. It's with balloons. Okay. We have hanging out there, or cool hanging, or hanging tough, something like that, with okay. our tree frog. Um. And that's is that it? it? Yeah. There's one more, the peacock, which I'm not sure what that, where that is, and, and the peacock is out there. So well, guess what? All the kids' ones. Yes, what? Everybody's ready. Ready. Let's do it. Yeah, they're like, stop it, talking, it, Jennifer. It, it, Moving it, along. Let's go. Yeah, they're not crack, messing crack. around with you. Awesome. All right. Going back to our water. Let's make a, let's do pink, okay? So we're going to do a little bit of red and mix with a little bit of white. A little bit of red and a little yeah, bit of so white. Yeah, so your red goes a long way. A little red goes a long way. So, so you want more white than the red? Probably. Depends okay. on what kind of red you have, too. Okay. Okay. So let's get some pink in there. So they decided on alpaca the llama. <laughs> alpaca. Okay. All right. 
So we're gonna do that same thing. Let's overlap just a couple of little pink brush strokes in that blue and then bring it down randomly in your water. Oh, okay. Okay, same. so so just a couple of brush strokes in there. Don't you were overlap. rinsing your brush first before you did that. I did right? rinse and dry first. Yes, you did rinse your rinse yep. and dry. You can bring some of that pink in the purple of the balloon. That dark area. You made that pink with um, with white and a little bit of red. Right. So it's okay. We're going to start overlapping them, and that's okay. okay. You'll kind of blend and make other colors. Again, that's what we want. Don't worry. So just kind of randomly putting those little pink brush strokes down in our water. Now, when you get a chance, when you're finished, yeah, can you please show Shannon Taylor the koala again? The koala, sure. Yes. Absolutely. And they are all posted in the kids' camp. I will. I did not get a chance to get the Google Doc finished today because I was working on two other paintings that we posted. Oh, okay. Um, today, so koala is. Oh, you want to bring it up? So here's the koala. Okay. Okay. Most of these will have sketches that go to them. So don't stress too much. We'll have you sketch them ahead of time. We'll have the kids sketch ahead of time before we get go live. Um, all the instructions will be sent over in a Google Doc before we get started. But. Um, oh, okay. All right. What do we want to do next? So after your pink, you'll rinse and dry. And let's make, let's make a green color. I don't know if we have to make green. Hmm. Let's just go to white. And then we'll do yellow last. Okay. So you're just going to grab white now. So white right over. Again, you'll rinse and dry. And just go to white, overlapping those areas. Now, Kiala says, did you put pink in the shadow? Yep, I put a little bit of pink in that purple shadow. Mm, that's why I'm going to zoom in. Oh my gosh. So they can see it. the zooming. Okay. So just grabbing white. I'm just grabbing kind of like this brush. We can't get through without more blowing his nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> down here with the dog. I know. I've got a mask on and still. <laughs> He's allergic to rascal. Yes, I am. I love him, but I'm allergic to him. <laughs> so just grabbing white, putting white brush strokes in there. A couple in our blue. So you're starting to blend now. Okay. Because they're overlapping the colors. Yes. <laughs> and it's the same strokes. You're just overlapping. Yep. Just right to left brush strokes. <laughs> I'm trying to get it in all those big areas that I haven't filled in already. Okay. I'm going to put a little, couple of them up in our, um, up in the darker areas, like the blue and the purple. And Very good. And you will rinse and dry. Now you will rinse and dry? Rinse and dry. Yep. I mean, people are, are really on it tonight. <laughs> They're not taking long. To, like it's uh, Friday night. Let's go. <laughs> well, I mean, other than the people who are, it's their first time, a yeah. lot of the people here are... Um, you guys are regular painters. Right. See, now I'm getting me to catch up, please, and okay. wait, please. You got so it. So these people, some of them are still, you That's know, fine. still have other steps to complete. That's fine. So you're 
doing your pink, your rinsing and drying, and then doing the same with the white. Right. Okay? All right. And we'll give everyone a couple minutes to catch up. Yes. We left off on, we do the snowman. Uh, no, snowman in July. Snowman in July. Or snow in July. No That's the Friday on. after the Zoom greet and meet. I mean, meet and greet that we have. He's all the way in the back corner of the. Oh, the snowman. Yeah. Yeah, the snowman is going to be Friday, July tenth at seven p.m. And that then is. that weekend, that weekend is both um, Zoom pay events. Which okay, two? Saturday, July eleventh is the koi painting. Okay, that's all. And the that's way. in the morning at eleven a.m. Yep. That's a five dollar fee for the Zoom. Yeah, the koi's are in the right, all the way in the right corner. I can't reach them. Oh, oh, here, let me. Um, I don't think you can see it. No, yes, you can. I can back it out. Okay. I oh, think so. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, you can't see it. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's all right. Events are there. No biggie. And then Sunday is the. And Sunday is the right? uh, the beach boardwalk. Oh, just kidding. That's July 12th at 7 p.m. Beach Boardwalk. I don't even know if I posted this one yet. I don't even, I don't even think I made it to post this one yet. Right, that's, that's the $5 Zoom uh, pay event. That's going to be Sunday at 7 p.m. on July the 12th. Yeah. And then the next event after that is going to be the Orcas. That's July 16th. That's a Thursday night at 7 p.m. That's also a $5 uh, fee for that for that event. Okay, now the next the next free event that we have coming up, that will be... Wait a minute. Now, you have, you have uh, Monday, July 27th, 8 p.m., Hummingbird. Yep, I didn't get to post this one yet. This is one that we did today. I did not get to post it yet. Is that free? So this one will be a free one. And then I see Dory. I think. I can't remember which one I, I was trying to. Um, no, Dory is the free no, one. Oh, yeah, Home Sweet Home. No, Hummingbirds. <laughs> There's a bunch coming up. I didn't get to post them all today. I was trying. Yeah, so let's not even talk about those because so, we don't have the information correct. You got it. So Hummingbird and Sunflowers is coming. Home Sweet Home is coming with the mason jars. That is posted already. And Dory um, is is also posted already today. Okay, so you can check all of those on this page here, Mimosas and Masterpieces, by yeah. clicking on the events and just scrolling up and down, yeah. and you'll see them all. Danielle says, Penguins? Penguins. Did we do Penguins yet? We did the penguins. No, I like the penguins. we didn't do the Penguins yet. Oh, man. You're right. You know why? Because I wanted to save that for a really big event. Okay. Um, Danielle, where are you located? <laughs> are you in New Jersey? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> so um, I would really like to save a penguin painting for doing a, a live event with a penguin. Right. That's with what a you live wanted. penguin. That's right. That's right. That's what you've been wanting to do. So we're doing a sloth event in August. Uh, right. It was moved from April to August. It is a sloth paint party. We have the Lehigh Valley Zoo bringing a sloth and some other animals right. to to our venue, um, not our home, but to a venue. Um, Danielle says New Jersey, baby. Yeah, awesome. So next year, anticipate seeing a painting event with a penguin. Paint with a penguin with yeah, a live she's penguin. Been trying to, she's been trying to get that for a while. We're gonna get through the sloth one first. I just want to get the sloth party done yeah then she'll be in good graces with the zoo and then they definitely get her the penguin <laughs> because we have been planning this and putting this off and i've put so much money into this bad boy and i've lost money at this point <laughs> yeah but it's still, i have so much swag for sloths oh my gosh i can't wait for it yeah sloth is going to be a blowout that's it's going to be, be awesome. awesome yeah um but yes once we get the sloth party done i will immediately try and book the uh a penguin one right this is alive with penguins yes alive with penguins <laughs> yes, and uh, Julie says, I love the hummingbird. Uh, me too. Uh, we we had um, a guest on last night with us, uh -huh. um, and he really mm -hmm. wanted to see birds and flowers. And we have been, or birds and sunflowers. So we've had people ask for a hummingbird. We've had people ask for sunflowers. So I kind of was trying to create the best of both worlds and get that on there. Okay, <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, now we have a few people that are set. Awesome. Here we go, guys. But I'm sure that there's still just a few people that are just... We'll give another minute or two. Yeah. What else would you like to see? So you you mentioned... Uh, go ahead. Yeah, these are the things that we definitely this need to happens. hear on that Thursday. What else do you want to say? July 9th at <laughs> You can post them here, too. It's okay. Yeah, or Mark just send us, a, send us a, um, you know, just send us any type of uh, suggestions mm -hmm. because we're trying to um, figure out how we can take this on into the future. We're going to keep going. We are. So we ended our year last year in the very beginning of this year doing resin pours, and that was on site right. here. Right. It wasn't something I was taking out and going anywhere with, but... Um, we do other things. We do we paint wine glasses and wine bottles and tote bags and trays. So we do other things other than canvas. So you'll start to see some of those things coming up as well. So kind of even virtually, we'll just have to get you a supply list just like we do with the canvas. Um, but you'll see more coming up. Yes, you know, Kimberly Adams says fireflies. Fireflies. We did do a firefly painting. Uh, it is in our past events. Look up Scout Virtual Painting in our past events. Right, um, right. That there's kind of like a mason jar with fireflies in there. Um, we did do that one. That was for all the Scout troops and everything. We had a ton of people on with us. That was so much fun. Um, and Rhea says, we have a honey hummingbird by our flowers in our garden. I love it. I've, I've only seen them. You've never seen a honey, hummingbird? I've nev not here. I've never seen them. But in Pennsylvania, like my mom has flowers and feeders everywhere. Oh. So. And they're they're like so tiny and so fast. It's crazy. They're like bees. <laughs> Rhea says, "I'd like to paint a chinchilla." That's, I love that's chinchillas. A, there you go. There, that's a that's a uh, unique one. I never. Yeah, really. It's the first time I've heard that. That used to be my favorite animal as a kid. Yeah. Now Needy's saying, um, "How long have you? How long have you guys been teaching art and doing mimosas and masterpieces? How long have we been doing this? So mimosas and masterpieces kind of came about about five years ago, maybe a little bit more than five years ago. Right. Um, I took a friend to, it came out two reasons. I took a friend to go do a paint and sip with me. She had never picked up a paintbrush, never painted. She's from Brazil. Um, and she was so excited and proud of herself for doing that. Yeah. And that feel, I've been like chasing that feeling ever since. Like seeing how proud she was it's kind of like a you know you're helping people conquer something or enabling them to like just kind of get past something and grow somehow mm -hmm. especially creatively um, and then I went to do a friend also took me to do a painting with a wine glass a local thing um, over it was about five years ago and we were like in a little tiny room they kind of just Put all the stuff in front of you and like okay there you go and i was <laughs> wait a minute this is it nothing there's no 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 instruction no nothing it was it, so i came home that night and was like i could totally do this what are you yelling at me for because he said i'm tired i wish you would just stop you've been painting all week oh my gosh just give me a break but, uh, and let me have you back yes yeah, so <laughs> oh my goodness so um i stayed up for i was up for over 24 hours figured out, you know, all the, everything I wanted to do, my costs, my name, the whole nine yards, and... All right, does he got to go outside or something? Come on, all right, really, I'm walking him out. Okay. Yeah, he's like, Mommy, go, go, I'm go, sorry, go. but I can't be denied. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Please, Mommy, please. That's enough is enough, please, Mom's mommy. work please. is never done. That's right. With pets or kids. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been, uh, but I've been painting my whole life. Like I graduated from Hillsborough High School, which is a local school around here, with art honors. Um, have just been doing art my whole life. Enjoyed it, but never made a career, no, so to speak, that. of it. But okay. <laughs> until now. Now, Kimberly and Ann Fennell says, I'd love to do wine bottles, but I'm in Maine and I don't drink. That's okay. We can, you can order clean, new wine bottles. You can order them. And Rachel says, I saw them in Rhode Island when I was there. Oh. And Rhea says, um, it is my favorite animal. Chinchillas, man. I've always wanted one, too. Now, 
Oh, Anita Merritt. Hi from Western Canada. First timer. Hi. Still joining us. Cynthia Arpin. A squirrel would be a nice to try and paint. A squirrel. I've not okay. seen a paint night with this. I have not seen a squirrel either. I'll write that one down. Yeah, write that squirrel. one down. Maybe with we'll the do tail. it. I was say maybe we could do a mom and me squirrel with the tails kind of like lining up to make hearts or something. Okay, there you go. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> now, if somebody else takes that, you know, it came from here. <laughs> it came from Cynthia Arpin. <laughs> right, on our page, though. <laughs> right, that's right. Right, see, now Susu says, check with your local winery. Some give the bottles away. Yeah. I mean, we have plenty here. <laughs> I could give you one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to... All right, I think people are ready to rock let's and do roll. It. All right, so we're, we've rinsed and dried from our white. And now we're going to make a, a lighter yellow. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of my yellow with a little white. Because the yellow that I have is really transparent. You can see through it. Okay. So we want to make it kind of a little opaque. So we're mixing it with a little bit of white. So let's do... We can do our sun if we want to. If you want to get that in there. My brush is kind of loaded, but so it's, it's loaded. It's kind of like full of paint, which shouldn't really use it like that, but that's okay. All right. Oh, so, so you didn't rinse it? Yeah, usually I would kind of like get it back to a fine point, but that's okay. So half a circle above our purple area. All right, and that was a mixture of yellow and white. It was. Okay. Yeah. We have another first time in here. Welcome, Sarah Martin Helgeson. Hi, First time for me tonight, along with my two kids. Loving Aww. this. Thank you for hosting. Hello, guys. Well, thanks yes, for thank painting you for with us. us. So after you get that sun in there, let's start putting those little yellow lines again in our water. So okay. let's start kind of heavily putting some of those lines right under the sun, because that's where the most of them are going to be in that reflection. Okay. And then you can go ahead and start spreading those out just like we did the others. So in those little areas that you haven't painted through yet, or you haven't covered yet. Is that the small or large brush for the sun? Still the small brush. Still the small brush. Yep. Still the small brush. We're going to continue with this one the rest of the time. We don't need that large brush anymore. Okay. So again, we're just kind of overlapping some of that yellow. And you're gonna kind of start mixing colors because everything's wet and that's okay all right we've got some green going on we've got some orange happening <laughs> cool yeah i want to put a couple of these lighter colors up in that purple and blue area all right Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Not too fast. We'll get to our balloon next. Balloon is coming up, guys. So once you once you have this yellow in there, you can take a look at your water, and if you want to go back over with any other color to add other colors in there. Like if you want to darken it up with blues, you can go back with some more blue. This is all about what you want to see individually. So. This one's really light compared to the one that I did on that side. And like I said, this will not be the same as that one. Uh -huh. Yours will not be the same as mine. As long as you're happy with it, that's what counts. Yes, it is. All right. Give you guys a minute again. So we did our sun. We added some reflections in the water. We brought some of that yellow down into the water. And then you can go into whatever other colors. If you want to add some other colors in there, again, just to kind of whatever. If you want to add some more blues back in there, you can go back and add some more blue in there. want to add a couple 
couple little lines of yellow in that purple area. Okay. Just a few. You could do this all day long. I think a lot of people could do this all day long. <laughs> I mean, just like playing with the colors and la overlapping colors and Well, I guess that's why people like it so much. Right, there's no right or wrong way. It's abstract. It's it's fun and colorful. All right. Stop playing with it. Put it away. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> well, at least we're going to calm down. Yeah, he must have really had to go outside. <laughs> He's fine now. Oh, yes, time for a sip. Taking a sip. It's just a nice, nice, uh, nice audience for tonight, for a Friday night. Start awesome. the weekend. All right, see, Anita Merritt says, I'm loving the colors. I know that it's it's like vibrant and fun and I don't know, like multiple colors like that. And Rhea is it's saying, exciting. yeah, you know, it's like the Eiffel Tower painting. It is exactly like the Eiffel Tower painting. Yeah. We did, uh, what's the other one? Oh, no, the other, oh, the seahorse. We did the seahorse that was similar to that. Okay. It's kind of like abstract with those tiny little lines. people like that style or that type of painting. And I, I'll tell you, originally when I started doing it, I was, I did not want to do it because I'm kind of a, for myself, I'm a, it's like this, you know, nice edges, it should be this way, uh -huh. it's perfect, and I like to be able to direct you to say, okay, it's a half circle, and that's what it is. Uh -huh. But you know, doing so much with random brush strokes and colors, there's little direction I can give you other than put your brush to the canvas. <laughs> right. And that's about it. But it comes out differently for everybody. And that is like the greatest thing about it. There's no right or wrong. It's it's all right, actually. Yep, it's all right. There's no wrong. That's what I should say. And that's the way it looks when you see it. When you run the, when you yeah, run I'm the telling pictures you. on the slide, it's just like a... Yeah, when you see the slideshows of the finished paintings, You can't see any so bad paintings. They're all neat. nice. You know that it's all the same painting, but it is, everybody's is different. Even the kids, even the littlest kids, you know, you know what the painting is. Even if they are a toddler, and you know that a toddler did it, you still can tell what that painting was. <laughs> yeah, see, Keala says, I do love the layers. Yeah, I, I enjoy layering them now. Like, it took me a little while to get used to doing that, but you could do that all day long. Kay. All right, now one more person's, one Go more ahead. person's comment, and then you can continue. Go ahead, let's do it. Danielle. She's making a point that's serious. It builds confidence and allows yes. freedom. Yes. Yeah. You, building your confidence and saying, you can do this, and it's not just about, um, you know, I always, well, that's a side, that's too far of a sidetrack. Okay. So, yes, building confidence, <laughs> and that's what it is. You want, you know, you want to feel good about what you've done, and by someone else being with you and you kind of going, I just did that. That's so awesome. And somebody else validating that going, yes, that looks great. Yeah. That takes it to a whole nother level. And especially doing this with our kids. My son, I can't even get him to hold a paintbrush. Yeah. But, <clears throat> but that's but why we get so many young people because doing they're doing the, it. Yes. But having kids do this with us, this is so good for them. It's so good emotionally. It's so good for them developmentally. It's great for occupational therapy. It's, you know, mentally therapeutic. I mean, we don't have any accreditations or degrees or anything like that. I can just tell you what I feel. Right. And, you know, and we just keep going with it. All newbie painters are afraid of defined lines. Defined lines? Defined lines? Yeah. That's and okay. And Karen That's says it's very relaxing, a nice way to unwind on a Friday night really or is. any night. It is. And this is what I do all this day. This is the <laughs> feedback that we need to hear on Thursday. All July day. Night. This is what we do. Yes. All right, let's get that balloon in the sky, guys. All right, so you don't do you don't have to follow my color scheme. You can do whatever color scheme you want to do. Okay. I love purple, so I'm gonna stick with my purple. Um, again, I'm just mixing a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. Okay. So I want to kind of lighten that up just a little bit. 
or I want to take a little of that and lighten it up, I should say. Right. So I want to save, reserve some of my darker color. So if you're mixing purple, yeah. mix your purple, take a little bit to the side and mix a lighter version of it. So just add a little white to it. And so, make a lighter version right. of purple. So I mixed my purple and then took a little to the side and then I added a little bit of white to it, okay, to lighten it up. Okay. I want to use this lighter version first. Let's just make the shape of our balloon. Let's just start with that teardrop shape, okay? And so if they don't want to make a teardrop shape, they can make any shape they want? Sure. Like a round circle? Circle, you can make, a, I mean, balloon, hot air balloons are in all different shapes and sizes, right? Right. All right. But now you're going to do the teardrop shape. Right. I want to kind like of the mimic shadow. the shadow that we made in the water. Okay. So above where I was in the water, let's bring it up. You know, we have to leave some room for the basket and that little, um, the contraption area, you know, the thing that runs it, the hot air, <laughs> the okay. hot air thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come up in my yellow a bit. I'm going to just do a small little horizontal line for the bottom of that balloon area. That's the bottom of your balloon? Yep. And then okay. I'm just going to, it's okay to start smaller. You can go bigger. You can't make it smaller. Oh, okay. That's the bottom of the balloon, but not the basket. In right. The, okay. All right. So let's start small. Okay. Oh, so start okay. small. This is a, that teardrop shape, but let's continue to make it wider. Oh. And coming down. So you can play with that for a little bit. But it's best to start small. Start small. So that you can go bigger. Right. So it's okay to overlap those brush strokes and play with those brush strokes until you get it to the size that you want it. All right. All kind of coming down to that basket area shape, whatever that kind of straight edge there. I'll fill that all in. It's okay if it's not all the same color. We can go back with that. Okay. Let's see. Am I good with that shape? I want to make it maybe a little bit taller. So let's kind of bring it up a little bit higher. Try and make it even on either side, just kind of using the brush. Use the brush to kind of push it out a little bit at a time. Are we even? What do we think? can't see it. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty even. All right. So let's just get that basic shape in there to start. Give you guys a minute to do that. All right. Take a sip. <laughs> Uh, I didn't ask you, what are you drinking tonight? And this is that um, red Moscato oh. that my booze fairy dropped off to me earlier. Your booze fairy gave you a red Moscato tonight. It's a mini bottle. Perfect. See how, you see how well she's treated? You see how lucky <laughs> she is? I never said I wasn't. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying to our audience, you know, a booze fairy came up yeah. on our steps <laughs> and left a basket of goodies for her. And that was one of it. That was one of them right there that she's drinking now. She actually put color, she put two lottery tickets in there. Oh, man. You know, and this is crazy. <laughs> you know, this goes back to our pay it forward. So we belong and we kind of, for a while, we were helping with the pay it forward effect where we were trying to get um, kids, get cards into, into kids' hands in school and kind of just teach them about paying it forward and doing good deeds. And um, because I, I, my lesson with Aiden is you, it, you always do good whenever you can. And you do it without the, the expectation of anything coming back to you. But somewhere along the line, it will come back to you. It's like karma, right? You believe in karma, you do good, good will come back to you. Yes. And so doing these, you know, people are making these baskets of goodies and leaving them for people, multiple people, 
and not expecting anything in return. But I mean, you there's thousands, thousands of people that are doing this right. in New Jersey and just the one group that I belong to. So it's just awesome to see so many doing so much good and positive and, you know, and just how oh, happy you're making so many people. It's so yeah. awesome. All right. And uh, Danielle says, um, I did hot air balloons with my third graders via Zoom. Aww. That's awesome, yes. Zoom is becoming very popular. Yeah, you know, we got to have to figure out another way to, you know, get out there somehow. So we had to quickly learn how to adapt in this situation. I was kind of devastated in the end of February when our, you know, like my sold out event for Maggiano's was canceled. Well, after I loaded the car, they called me and it was canceled. Yeah, that was so that was a big event. Um, and then everything thereafter kind of just canceled on me through May. So, um, you know, we kind of just had to adapt here. Uh huh. All right, we are going to rinse and dry that brush. I'm gonna have you go to the darker color that you made. So let's start with, in the center of our balloon, I want you to make a long teardrop shape. So let's start at the top with kind of just a curved line at the top. You said you're gonna make a long We're gonna make a long teardrop shape with our darker color. So I went to my darker color. All right, and you're okay. using what size brush? Stick them with that medium round brush okay. that we've been using, same brush. Okay, so after you make that little curve at the top, it's kind of like the one fold of the balloon. Right. We're gonna bring this down to a point down here at the bottom of our balloon. Oh, okay. okay. So either side. In a teardrop shape. Right, so either side we're gonna try and bring this down. Oh, you used your pinky. I did, I used my pinky, kind of pinky stabilize here. Show them, just don't use it. You have new, <laughs> you have new first timers. So, so we call this, silly as it sounds, pencil grip pinky stabilize. So you're holding the pencil, you're holding the pencil, you're holding the paintbrush like you would hold a pencil. Right. Right? And then you use your pinky to kind of rest your hand on your canvas to kind of stabilize your hand and you can use your brush a little bit better and kind of control your brush strokes a bit. Right. Okay? So once Yeah, you, newcomers need to hear that. So again, we have that one in there so far. This long teardrop. Long teardrop shape. I know you're kind of wiping off that other color that you've got in there. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Yep, yeah, that's all right. We kind of just want to get the shape all in there and then we can add and play with colors. We'll go to our clouds and then we'll come back to this. Okay. But we want to, um, let's get all of the shape, shaping of our balloon in there. So after this first teardrop, let's make another little curve line that way. We'll do a curve line this way. And let's bring that down to the bottom. Oh, okay. And down to the bottom. You'll finish out another curve and another curve. Now, depending on how big your balloon is, you may need to add another one, which is fine. You can do that. Okay. So I'll show you. I'm going to add another one too, just so you can see that. So bringing it down, all kind of coming right down to the bottom of that balloon. I got to mix a little bit more paint. Sorry. All right. I ran out. You ran out of your purple. Your <laughs> right purple. Out of my purple. Now what purple are you making? You making a dark just purple? A, yep, I'm just making that dark purple. Okay, and then another curve and then coming all the way down and around. Okay. Another curve and all the way down and around. So we're coming down to that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let that go for a minute and we'll go to our um, our clouds next so I want to let that dry for a couple of minutes okay rinse and dry your brush once you get those lines in there and we are I, I lied we are gonna go back to that big flat brush we're gonna go back to this one. Oh, okay so now you're gonna use a big flat brush yep so we want to make sure it's rinsed and really dried okay well you know what I'm sorry let me give you guys a minute to do that. Yeah, give them give a us chance a, to finish making yeah, their Yeah, give balloons. us a couple of thumbs up so we know that you're ready to move on after that part. Yes. That's a good idea. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> I don't mean to rush anybody. We're not going anywhere. All right, all right. <laughs> so 
so yes definitely part of the meet and greet zoom is that we want to be able to meet and see you you guys get to see us all the time or at least you get to see me you'll right. get to finally see mark for all of you that are like waiting to see mark i don't know yeah they can see me on <laughs> thursday i'll be on the camera with and you. but we want to see you we want you to bring your favorite painting that you've done and it doesn't have to be one that you've done with us but we want to like do a you know remember show and tell in school that used to be my favorite part of school we want really? you to like show your favorite painting to everybody not just us but we want to see it we want to see what you've done and um, again it doesn't have to be something that you've done with us I'm not offended if you paint with other people <laughs> mm -hmm. there's plenty of paint and time to go around guys yes it is <laughs> lots right now Rhea says Harry Potter we did a Harry Potter we did Harry Potter we did no I think she, didn't she do it I don't know did I think she it? did it we did do it um We'll probably maybe, maybe we'll come back around to that one. I still need to get a dragon in there for you guys. There's a dragon that I want to do. Um, we'll get to that, and then um, you finally did a dragon. No, well I did do a dragon, but I didn't like it, so we didn't post it. Um, so you're gonna do another one? So I'll do another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. See, so yeah, Rhea said yes. Yeah, we did Harry Potter. Yeah. I oh, see. You remember the name? Good job. Yes. <laughs> Mark is very good at remembering everybody's Well, name. I mean, I still said Anita Evans in the beginning, and then she reminded me it was Rhea. Rhea. Oh, okay. But then I remembered that Rhea did the Harry Potter, yeah. That's right. Were you, were you the one, one of the ones that won one of the glasses? Uh, I, I think remember. so. I don't remember. We have a nice, steady audience. Awesome. Yeah, okay, yeah, That do. comes to visit us almost every time we paint. That is true. That is true. Right, so you and got we some appreciate people are, everybody. Some people are chiming in now. They're just starting to say that they're ready now. So good. a couple more good, good. couple more minutes and we'll Sounds good. We can go wait on a minute to the next time. step. <coughs> yes, we've done Harry Potter. We I have a goldfish that we haven't done yet. Um, we're trying to think of some more mom and me ones. The squirrel was a good idea. Yeah, we'll squirrel's a good squirrel. idea. We'll do the squirrels with the tails kind of lining up. Yeah, you like that idea. Because huh? the, uh, the last mom and me, I think, was the Moonlight Kitties. And the right? Moonlight Kitties were a super hit. <laughs> the Moonlight Kitties were pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, see, now Rhea says, and I had butter beer in it today. Oh, butter yes. beer is from Harry Potter. There oh, you. we know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, your Harry Potter event, wasn't that with Mimosas and Masterpieces? Yes, yeah, we said it. So the Harry Potter event is on this page? So yes, it is, but there's not very many photos because remember, we I had another photographer there take pictures. Oh. So I don't have all of the photos. There may be a link on it to see the photos on her page. You can't page. get the photo photos yeah. of that person? Yeah, I think she just set up a link to get it. So I don't remember if I posted on that or not, but they were awesome. The photos were awesome. <laughs> yeah, because we had a Harry Potter event. Awesome. We certainly did. Yeah, we had a Harry Potter event and people painted and made things, crafts, arts, not just painting. We did. We well, they painted. Games. They painted either um, Hedwig, or they did um, coasters. Or right. Or glasses. Yeah, they did glasses too. They did mugs. Yeah, we were. It was. And then they put butter beer in their mugs. Well, we had mugs made for everybody. That's why I had extra mugs. Right. And yes, we had butter beer. It was awesome. It, it was, was awesome. It was cream soda with. It was like a cream soda float with butterscotch, all over it, whipped cream on top. Mm -mm. And we had somebody dressed up, and they were making them. <laughs> yeah. We had some uh, characters. Good. Yep. We have a few people that are ready. Good. Good. All right. Uh, for those who are still finishing up, she's going to um, she's going to um, repeat steps. Yeah. So don't worry. So I, what you'll do is rinse and dry. Make sure that flat brush is dried really good. Okay. Okay. We're gonna kind of fluff it. So I want you to kind of like fluff it and get the bristles a little bit messy. Fluff it. S fluff it. <laughs> that sounds like a Bob Ross term, I think. Okay. So you kind of want to spread the bristles out if you can a little bit. 
so right. they're not nice and neat. So we're going to start with our um, our clouds. So let's start from the darkest and get to the lightest. I'm going to grab my purple that I've been using. All right. You want to just kind of tap in that just to get the edges of your bristles. Oh. There's not a lot of paint on that at all. It's almost called dry brush where you have almost no paint on your brush and you're kind of like tapping to get it off of the brush. This is called stippling. So you're just going to tap your brush right to the canvas. Okay. Okay. This is wherever you want your clouds to go. So I'm going to kind of follow my, my old one. So you're just tapping and pressing the brush right to the canvas. So once you kind of get all of that paint off. Yes, that's with the flat brush. Yes, flat brush. Rinse and dry, kind of fluff a little bit. Start with light pressure, just in case you have a lot of paint on that brush. Okay, and, and then, just tap. Yep, yeah, just tap. And then as your paint kind of is, you have paint off of your brush or less paint on your brush, you can press a little bit harder. Okay. But let's uh, zoom in so that they can see how you're doing this tapping. Okay. And you call this stippling. Stippling. All right, so now you're so, going to stipple this, this cloud. Right, so I'm starting with the top of my cloud. So this is the top part of my cloud. Okay. All right, let's do another one down here. In a here. pyramid sort of. Yeah, I don't know. It could be whatever shape you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a pyramid. Right, it could whatever type of cloud you want. Yep. Okay, Allison says light purple or dark purple. I'm using the darker purple. You're using the darker yep, purple Yeah, I'm using right the now. darker purple. <laughs> Karen says, definitely makes me feel like Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Happy little clouds. Happy Brush little it, clouds. Tap it, fluff it, whatever. <laughs> I can't remember all of, his, all of his things that he used to say. Brush it, tap it, fluff it, move it. So Bob Ross is the one that started all of this. Of course. And got everybody all excited to paint and then disappeared no then he left us and then now people want to paint all right so this is just the top of our clouds okay all right so we've got purple in there the next color that we'll go to is that pink that we created in the water okay, okay. so again if you need to make more make it and then rinse and dry that brush and fluff it again. And that pink is going to be what? Uh, red? This is just a little red and your just white. Just a little red in the white. You should have, you should probably should have enough on your canvas. Just to do you some stippling? A, you'll need a little tiny bit of that color. You're still going to be doing stippling? Same, yep, same thing. Light pressure first. Light until, pressure of tapping. Until you start getting that paint off the brush and then you can gradually add more pressure. So, so light, lightly tap it. Yep, lightly first to get some of that paint off. And hold your canvas if it keeps <laughs> bouncing back. Yeah, mine does. And if you have to grab some more, you grab some more, but just start lightly first. Right, I mean, because like they can't see you tapping I it. know. I'm just the tip of the bristle, so I'm not wiping anything. I'm just, just tapping, tapping, stippling. Tapping the tip of the bristles right to the canvas. You hear that crunching sound. Right, that crunching sound is you pushing down right. on the bristles. Right, exactly. And then rinse and dry. So purple and then pink and then rinse and dry. Purple and then pink and then rinse and dry. Yep. And you're going to just tap. Yep. And that is called stippling. It is. So rinse and dry really good. Fluff those bristles again. Did Bob Ross say it was stippling? I don't know. Oh, you never heard him say that term? Um, he used much bigger brushes. So I right, don't know. right. He he would say like that's right. He didn't use the same type of paint either. Right. He would. He did oil. So he would say, "Grab it, lift it, fluff it." Right. He would you say know. terms like that. He would yeah. say, "I'm going to actually do some stippling." Yeah. I don't know. If, yeah. I don't know. If, he may have. He may have. I was just used to him, I was used to seeing him use... With the knife, the palette knife. Yeah, I'd never seen him use the brush. I always seen him yeah. using the well, he would scraper. He's scraping and stuff. Yeah, he would use the palette Baby. knife to kind of get those mountains in there or the snow on the mountains or whatever. And you hear that <laughs> on yeah, the canvas. I'm used to that. And then he would take a nice big two inch or three inch brush that was right, a big real one. fluffy. Yeah. And then lightly going over that kind of 
you know, smooths out the edges, creates the mist, whatever it might be. All right, so rinsing and drying after your purple and pink fluff again. <laughs> right, and still have your flat brush. Yep. This time I'm going to grab that light yellow that we used down here. The light yellow. Yep, a little bit of light yellow. And at the bottom of our clouds, clouds. we'll have that light yellow. Yep, you can kind of oh, go so up. Oh, so you're going to stippling that too? Yep, so you, you can bring it up a little bit over the side so you can see some of that on that purple and pink. Okay. But I'm going to kind of do that at the bottom underneath of our clouds. Now I can't see that one since it's in the yellow. Okay. <laughs> really moving this canvas. <laughs> this one will look really good because it's in the blue, so. Okay. So start kind of pressing that on there. I can hear it. <laughs> so this is that highlight from the sun kind of beaming on the bottom of our can on, of our clouds. Okay. All right. And then you can rinse and dry and we will give you a minute and we'll go back to our balloon. All right, as they finish up their clouds. Yep, so give us a thumbs up that you're ready to move on to the next step. And we will go on to the next step. Now, Shannon, Shannon Taylor says, are we done painting the water? Done painting the water. So if you want to go back over to fill in anything you have missed, if you have like little gaps or anything, uh -huh. yes, you can go back in and do that if you've missed any spots. Okay. So we have purple, blue, the pink, white, purple, blue, pink, white, and then the light uh -huh. yellow. Okay. Yep. That's all part of the water. Yep, and then you can just kind of keep layering over it. Like if it looks like it's too light and you want to add some more blues to it, go back and add more blue on top. It's okay. There's, like we said, there's no right or wrong. Right. Yeah, everybody's keeping pace with you pretty well. <laughs> We'll give them a couple more minutes to finish up. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. A couple more right. steps, guys. And then you're almost done. And remember, at you the end... You hear that, rascal? You hear that, rascal? Shh, don't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're done, remember, we want you to take a photo of your painting. We would ideally love to see you holding your painting. Yes. And post them in the event discussion. I will put up a thank you post again, reminding you of our Venmo PayPal. If you so choose to do a donation or a tip, we appreciate it. Okay. Um, if you don't want to do a donation or a tip, you know what's even better is a share to your personal page of our page. Show everybody what you painted tonight and tag mimosas and masterpieces. That's just as good. We appreciate right. tag that. Tag us, right? Yep. Tag mimosas and masterpieces on your page. Right. You so put your painting up on your page and tag us with that. Yeah. That's we get to see the picture of the page. Of the, of, um, of the as painting. long as the... Um, as long as the profile is public, I believe, then we're we get able to see. to see it. Yeah, because okay. sometimes I see tags or posts or shares, yeah. and I can't see it because the, the profile is not it's public. private. Right. Okay. Yep. But yes, that's okay. and slowly but surely, our audience is clicking in saying that they're ready, but it's only three right now. Okay. So a couple <laughs> more minutes for a few more. Okay. Yeah, they're keeping up very well with you. Good, good. Sounds good. And we definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing pictures uh, of your paintings. Yep. We will post as soon as I will close out the, the video. We'll post it right to the event. And, and we encourage I'll each and every one of you to go to our events. Click yeah. on those events. And then Check look at the slideshow right of the paintings for each event. Or, yeah, they're fun. Or just click on photos. <laughs> There's tons. I and know. go through Mimosas and Masterpieces photos. We have photos of our live events, um, 
I, I don't know, the photos of uh, people's paintings, is that in the photo section as well? Yep, any photos that have ever been posted to the page is in there. Oh, see, so you could go roll through that, scroll up and down on that. I'm telling you, you see I some take you really beautiful <laughs> painting. That's what I, I do. I go back to the page and I say, okay, I want to see who sent in paintings. Yeah. And, uh, we have some pictures. really great, you guys are some really great artists. I mean, everybody is an artist in their own right, but there is just some that are, what, like, I'll say, all right, I need to do that painting. <laughs> Can I do that painting? <laughs> um, you'll see, and you'll see us start posting um, artist spotlights. So last week, or this this week, we did a spotlight for um, a little girl, uh, Warisha, who has gone back, and she is not sometimes able to paint live with us, so she's gone back and painted almost every single one of our past events right and she will post her photo underneath the um underneath the the album that i've created because i'll create an album of all of the photos as well right so um i put her as the artist spotlight last week the uh next week we'll put anya up there because anya has been with us almost right. every time we've painted right, right? And that's what we're going to do we're going to spotlight people who have been painting so every times. week yeah every week we want to do an artist spotlight um, we'll kind of just randomly pick some people out that kind of stick out with us. Now, Rhea, Rhea has a question. She says, yeah. um, my clouds look like they are spots. That's kind of what ours looks like. So if it's too heavy, so if it looks like there's too many dots in it, yeah. rinse and dry that flat brush really good. Okay. Or if you have another flat brush that's bigger, that's dried and not been used, yeah. go back over it with the dry brush and just go back over and tap to kind of spread out those little spots. But if not, then if not, then what? So rinse and dry rinse and really dry good. Flat brush. Yep. Get everything off of that flat brush and, and then, then tap it again. Go back over it. You may just have to, you know, they may kind of come together your colors, but that's okay too. You'll oh. end up creating a little bit of a rainbow. It's only going to end up being um, maybe a little bit of orange and a purple or pink. All so. Right. Yep, if it looks like they're too spotty, because that's what mine are. Mine are real fine dots, because that's what we use as our brush, or as our bristles. So that's what they are, is little dots. But if they're if they look too heavy, it may have just been because there was a lot of paint on the tip of your brush. So just go back over with that clean, dry brush, uh -huh. and just keep stippling over it, and you'll end up spreading the paint around. Now Shannon, Shannon says, do you have Instagram? Uh. <laughs> no, you're not on Instagram, are you? I do, but I don't use it. Same as Twitter, right? Is that the same thing or are they yeah, different? No, they're different. See? Yeah, we're, so we're Facebook people. We're not we're uh, Facebook people. I know that I should have an Instagram. Um, eventually, you're going to have I tried. One. You're supposed to master like one platform before you go to the next. Yeah. I still have a long way to go with Facebook. <laughs> and we will probably eventually go to YouTube. Start uploading to YouTube where you guys can, you know, um, put like codes in to paint so that we can save paid event paintings. So right. we'll, <clears throat> what a lot of time. No, I don't have, every once in a while you may see a, a tweet. A tweet? A tweet? <laughs> That's a Twitter, right? You have yeah. Twitter? A tweet, I think so. And then, yeah, I really don't do a whole lot with, um, with either Social of them. Social media? Sorry, just Facebook. Just Facebook. That's it. <laughs> All right. And then Zoom. And Zoom well, is becoming. Well, Zoom, that's how we're going to start going live and um, being able to see you guys and see so you can see us too. But I'm at least able to, like when we're on Zoom, I'm able to kind of come behind the computer and you can show me and say, what do I do if this is wrong, you know? Like, right. I can come and help you that way too. Right. All right. Let's get back to our balloon. Yep. We've got people ready and waiting. Beautiful. Okay. So we kind of created that, you know, like a base color. We uh, Hold on, somebody, Kimberly says, uh oh, video gone. But the video's still here, so I see the video. Is it out of power, like It low, must be her. Low power mode? Or nope. No? no? Everything okay. is fine on our end here. Okay. All right, so we created that, like, base color. And then we created sort of the outlines for those, um, kind of like the ridges where, you know, each of those color panels are kind of sewn together, right? So you don't have to keep what you have there. If you want to create multicolors in those panels, you can go through and create multicolors in those panels. Okay. I'm just kind of going to stick with kind of that base color and then add some highlights and shadows in there. Okay. So um, let's go with, so I'm going to, let me sort of go over my light purple, which I 
started with, right? That's my base color. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything's okay now. You good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, just kind of going over that base color that I made. Right. In the center there. That's the light purple. This, I'm going to stick with my light purple. Maybe I'll add a, let's do, maybe I'll add pink. So it, you can kind of see a little bit of a difference. How's that? All right. So let's add a little bit of a pink one. Let's do a couple stripes of pink. All right. So once we get all of our color stripes in there, then we can go to um, highlights and shadows. All right, so let's make this one pink. So just fill that little wedge in there all the way down to the bottom. Maybe we'll do every other one. Make this one pink. Come all the way down. And let's make this one pink. Come all the way down. So if you need to kind of control those brush strokes a little bit, hold mm. it like a pencil, yes. rest your pinky on the canvas. So you have a little bit of control over that okay. brush stroke. All right. So we got some stripes of color, purple and pink. I like it. All right. Purple and pink. See, once we get those, I'm gonna finish my doing my colors here. Finish those little colors first, and then we will go to just kind of give a thumbs up when you're done with your um, no. balloon. What's up, Mr. Aiden? I think they're right with you. Yeah. You what? Huh? Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. What noise? You're working on Bebop. The what noise? Bob, sir, sir. Oh, the Roomba. The brush cage was not spinning. Oh. I put it in the testing mode to try and see what was wrong with it, and it, the brush holes would not spin, so. Oh. The um, uh, little stopper that's supposed to tell the motor that the brush is okay, it was in stuck inside it, so it didn't work. Oh my gosh. The right. motor had power, but it wasn't spinning. Okay. Thanks, bud. Fixed it. Good job. All right. So again, we're just gonna get those stripes in there, whatever colors you want for your balloon, uh -huh. and then just rinse and dry, and we'll and hang out for a moment. Dry. How much longer do you have left? A little while. Pink and looks nice, so I got a vacuum after. Thank you. Too. You're gonna vacuum after? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> my new rule. I have to vacuum after and before. Thank you. <laughs> so it's dirt free down here. I, I already, already know. coughed and I already sneezed. Oh my goodness. The air purifier is on. Yes. Hi. So we added to our um, our website, mimosasmasterpieces.com. Mm -hmm. um, we added a link for virtual supplies through Amazon. Not everything is always in stock. They're not always the cheapest, but there's some kind of like cool value bargain things, but there's also some unique things. So we started, so somebody asked us one time, like, what do you, you know, we keep saying, what are we going to do with all these paintings? What are we right. going to do with them all? Right. So, and you, it's kind of sometimes awkward to hand somebody a, just a canvas, like you're getting rid of it. So we found these awesome frames. They're called floating frames, and there's links to them right on our Facebook page. Yes. Nope, right on our website. So yeah. you can just, like, it sticks right inside the um, the frame. What size canvas is that again? They are 16 by 20 canvases. Right, so they so fit So this is perfectly. like a rustic 
frame and they're all different. Um, so there's these on there and then there is um, just kind of a black, I mean they're all different colors and stuff, but we have a black one too. That we used. And what's the prices that these mm -hmm. things run around? Um, I think they're about 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. For one, for one, uh, for one frame? Yep, for one frame. But it's a pretty good, I mean like it's a really nice gift though, especially they're like. Yeah, you like putting them inside like that. I mean, because it, I don't know, it just finishes it and it makes it look like a real piece yeah, of art. Yeah, frame does add more it to really the does. painting. <laughs> so anyway, there's links to the frames on our website as well if you are interested in doing something like that. Let me put this guy back. Almost done, guys. Okay. Yeah, it is very interesting when you put the frame on it. It just changes it, more. I don't know. Yeah, it just makes it, like it finishes it, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's the word, finishes <laughs> it. But yeah, it does, it makes it look finished. All right, so, you're rinsing and drying after those color stripes are in there. I'm gonna grab. Same brush. Same brush, that little brush we're going back to. Rinsing and drying, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow. That actually that light yellow that we used for down here in our water. Yeah. And I want to brush this on the bottom right of our um, hot air balloon. Okay. So you can kind of just do a couple of brush strokes. Can you do slower so you can see? Yep. I'm gonna have to zoom in. Oh my goodness, zoom in, zoom. <laughs> well, you're doing a stroke that looks sort of. So I'm just brushing that light yellow. along those edges. So I'm just using like the bottom left though, or the bottom right, sorry. My sense of direction. So bottom right side of the balloon with that yellow. Yeah. And then I'm not rinsing and drying. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white. A little bit of white. Yep, a little bit of white. I didn't rinse and dry. And then I want to come down around the right of each one of these color stripes or like the um, the edge of each one of those panels, I guess they are. All right. Okay. Barbara Gordon says, where can I find the link to those frames? Um, so you'll go to mimosasmasterpieces.com. It's our website. Right. That's the website, not the Facebook page. Right. It's the website. And then there's a tab for like all the whole page. So on the tab, it will say supply links for virtual events. And it's it's in, on that page somewhere. Okay. <laughs> if you just might have to scroll a bit. But it's mimosasmasterpieces.com. Dot com. Right. It's the not. The ampersand is out of it. Right. Right. So it's just mimosasmasterpieces.com. Right. You got it. So I'm kind of just maybe fluffing these out a little bit, maybe blending them a little. So yeah. It's not such a harsh line. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Um, there's your highlights are in there now. So let's go to. So highlights are on our balloon. I'll give you guys a minute for that. So again, I use that light yellow for the bottom right of my balloon. Right. And then I just just grabbed a little bit of white same brush I didn't rinse and dry and I just took it down around the right so everything from the center of the balloon the right side is of right. all of our little panels on the balloon right and I got it zoomed in so they could see good and then I do want to go back in to add a little bit of our shadowing on the left side but I'll give you guys a minute first. Yeah, could you just repeat the highlights again one yeah, more time? no problem. So with that small brush, we rinsed and dried. I grabbed a little bit of that yellow, same yellow that we used in our um, on our ocean, that light yellow. Yes. On the bottom right of our balloon, uh -huh. I kind of brought it up a little bit, almost the whole right side of the edge of the balloon, and then brought it up into maybe the second panel. Right. And then I didn't rinse and dry. I just grabbed a little bit more white on that brush. And then everything from the middle of my 
balloon over all of the right sides of the panels. Yes. I came down with the white. All right. And then if you want to kind of blend that in a little bit, you can blend it in a little bit so it's not such a harsh white line. Okay. Good, good. And what's going to be, what's, what you're going to do for the next? So our shadow, I just want to put in some more of the shadows. Okay. So I grabbed um, more of that dark purple. If you need to make it a little bit darker, you can make it a little bit darker. And I just want to come on the left side and sort of come up from the bottom a little bit with a shadow. So Let's get a good look at it. Yeah, I'm just doing kind of some light brush strokes there. If you want to add those lines back in where your panels are, you can do that. And if you want to, you know, when we get to the black, you can outline it too if you want to. I don't really have mine outlined. So we'll give you guys a minute to get that done. All right. All right, and then we will finish off with our basket on the balloon. said he's ready for you to end. Seriously. You know who taught him that, right? <laughs> yeah, you and the boy together. No, oh my not gosh. me. Yeah, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden. <laughs> Aiden taught him. Want to get mommy's attention? <laughs> Want to get mommy to stop? Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, we are going to rinse and dry once you've got your highlight and your shadow in there. Rinse and dry, I want you to get that brush to a point. So let me show you that quick too. Since we're gonna, if you have a tinier brush to use for detail, you can switch to a tinier brush. Right. If not, after you rinse your brush, when you dry it, drag it across your paper towel. Yeah. And you wanna spin it. You wanna spin it? So you're gonna spin as you drag it across your paper towel. And that gets it back to that fine little point. That's what you need for the detail. Okay. Okay. So you want to use just a tiny bit of paint at a time. I'm using black. We're going to do the uh, underneath of the, the balloon. balloon. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So using that pencil grip, pinky stabilize, underneath our balloon, I'm going to create two little tiny lines under there. And then we're going to create like a little upside down triangle here maybe like a trapezoid shape so it's kind of like a well it's a trapezoid that's what it is longer edge at the top fill it in the shorter edge at the bottom this is black right yep this is just black just the black. And then below that little shape, two little lines again down. And then we're going to create that little box <coughs> for the basket. So it's a 
a little box right underneath that trapezoid shape. And you'll fill that little box in. Little tiny details. And if you want to go back over and kind of like outline a bit, you can go back over <coughs> and outline a little bit. <coughs> So I'm kind of just going over some of my um, those creases in the balloon, just lightly, tiny, tiny little little bit of black at a time, though. I'm just gonna do the left side, though. I don't want to go too far up into the right because I feel like that I sort of lose some of those highlights. All right. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So again, we just grabbed the little bit of black on that brush. Fine point. I came down with two little lines first under from underneath our balloon. We did <coughs> a little trapezoid shape under that. And then from underneath the trapezoid, another two little tiny lines down and then a box for our basket and then if you choose to kind of go back around with a little bit of the um, the black for like an outline you can come down around and do a little bit of that so I just kind of did really tiny light strokes for that black in the outline and I just kind of went around the left side of the balloon <coughs> You okay over there? Yeah. <laughs> and then the very last thing we need you to do is sign your painting. So sign and date your painting. Bottom right, bottom left, your initials, the year maybe. And then you are done. Of course, the very last thing is we want you to send in your photos as soon as I, uh, as soon as we're complete, we will um, post the video, and then we will uh, post that thank you up there for you and a reminder to put your pictures there. Okay. And that's it. You guys are done. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're not going anywhere. You guys, give us a couple minutes and let us know if you have any questions or you need anything. And keep in mind that we'll be back tomorrow. At tomorrow. 11 a.m. to do drink, sip, repeat. Yep. <laughs> and Sunday, we'll start at 3 p.m. to do In This House. And then we'll be returning right back at 7 p.m. to do the Booze Fairy. It's a busy weekend. <laughs> it's always a busy weekend here. It's always a busy weekend. How are you guys doing? Not bad. Everybody's painting still. Yes, Terrell says thank you for your time. Kimberly Adams says thank you. You're very welcome, lady. Karen says thank you. This you're was welcome. awesome. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you, guys. I don't know who Owo Lobby Capital is. Okay. I don't know if this person was painting with us okay. or if they're just joining in, but they're asking a lot of our audience members questions, and that bothers me a little bit. So I went to go block him, and then I ended up uh, unblocking him because he's really not doing anything yet. But I, I just take notice when somebody who I'm not sure or familiar with that doesn't look sort of uh, yeah on the up and up, and then they're asking all of our audience members questions yeah that are not related to painting yeah definitely not <laughs> so just um ignore this person or find out what their purpose is or i mean i don't have a problem with somebody coming in and just you know checking out what's going on and everything but make yourself known and what you're up to yep we've blocked a lot of different spammers 
unfortunately. Yes. It's and there's been people, you know, coming in here while we're trying to do something yeah. nice for everybody. Unfortunately, and, uh, it's a, I mean, it's a public page, so it's very difficult to stop things like that. So. Yeah, but I'm just letting them know that I'm watching and Thank I'm you. on it, and uh, I, I don't play that. that. <laughs> I, I felt bad because I had blocked them while we were in the middle of doing all of this. That's why you were like, "What are you doing?" And I'm looking. And I'm saying, I'm going to block this person because I don't know why they keep asking all these people questions <laughs> and they're not asking me questions because I'm that's what I'm here for. Yeah, that's strange. Right, see, Kiala says, thank you. This was fun. You're welcome. Now, uh, Rachel says, can you please go over the basket bit again? Yeah, absolutely. Please. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you're still zoomed, right? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So with that, with that brush, very fine point, if you can get it to a fine point, you're going to come down with two little, maybe like angled lines mm -hmm. from the bottom of your balloon. And then you're going to create a, it's a trapezoid shape. So I'm kind of connecting those two little lines with a horizontal line. And then coming down on a little angle for that trapezoid shape. Oops, sorry. Kick the easel, kick in the Careful. easel. <laughs> and then closing off the bottom and then filling that in. And then right below that little trapezoid shape, I came down with two more little lines and then a little um, a box and just filled that in. Okay. So it's kind of like the mechanism that kind of blows the air up into the balloon and then the basket itself. All right. You can even put some little dots of fire in there if you're if you're really creative. <laughs> Now, Allison Beck says, this is my favorite painting. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this one was really good. It's so unusual. It's just so crazy. You know, Diane and I had a, a little moment together. I was like, what's it? We're soul sisters. We were meant to meet for whatever reason. <laughs> but it's so crazy how I, I promise you, like we have, I have lists. I have a, do, you know, two, three dozen things on the list to do. And... Um, a hot air balloon was not one of them. Wow. <laughs> so, um, for whatever reason, I needed to do a hot air balloon that day. I did it, and as soon as I posted it, Diane messaged me and said, I was meant to see that painting. So, mm -hmm. it was my grandmother coming to me through you somehow. Mm -hmm. And how crazy that I said to her, it's so weird. I have no idea where the hot air balloon came from, but I needed to get it out that day. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian Wilson says, first time with you watching, we'll join again. Oh, so good. Thank you so much. And Tammy, Tammy Bettler says, thank you. You're Fun welcome. to paint and different. <laughs> and like you very much. Oh, thank you so much. TB says, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, who else do we have here? Can you zoom out? Oh, Pat yes. Patricia Bagley. <laughs> oh, yes. I know the name. <laughs> All right, I'm zooming out. So I'm not talking to you again. <laughs> and, um, oh, and Anya says thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Diana Southwick says thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Diana. Allison Beck says love the story. Aw, it, it was just so crazy, <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, really, I had I was like welling up thinking about it when she and I were talking and chatting about it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Uh-huh. And the funnier thing is that we... Um, the day before we were talking about the whole um, paint and meditate and the whole intuition classes and I'm telling her you should do the intuition classes because you know and I'm gone I'm not ready for any of that and when I painted the thing the next day I'm like okay I gotta take my own advice I guess now Winnie Looper says thank you this was fun I'll try the wine fairies <laughs> I like the wine fairies. That's a good one. And Diana Southwick says, my daughter may do this another time. Yeah. Yes, feel free. Anytime yeah. you come back, click on the events, yep. click on the video, and so, go right yeah, to Yeah, there's tons, there's whatever, two Danielle says, dozen thank there. You. Go back through them. Um, take your time. Yeah, she says, as always, this is better than TV. But that's what we're trying to get you, the TV. <laughs> I want to get Jennifer the TV money. Oh, my gosh. We got to get a TV show, you know, but it's not going to be like Bob Ross. It's going to have a lot more to it than <laughs> just painting the paintings, you know, because we like the interaction with you guys. Yeah. So <clears throat> if yeah. we get a TV show, yeah, we got to be able to talk to you while we're doing the painting, just like we're doing right now. Yeah. We want to have a lot of different things going on. 
So that's why you need to join us on the 9th of July, <laughs> Thursday at 7 p.m. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions about things like that because I want to get her on TV. But first, we got to go. We got to go at our, our, our pace. Next will be Zoom, and then it'll be YouTube. See if we can get a YouTube channel. We're going to explore that. We'll figure but uh, eventually, I would like to get her the TV money and pitch to a TV station after we figure out what is the best format and the best way to have people paint. I don't know. I just want to travel and be there. On a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, but we can incorporate the travel. That's right. I okay, want to go to Canada. TV, listen, if we have TV money, we could come to your town, yeah, come right? to your state, and paint. That would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. So this is why I want to try to get as much information Chicago, as possible. Uh, Massachusetts. Let's go to New Zealand. We have people like to paint. <laughs> so we yeah. Imagine go to New Zealand. Imagine if we have a show that comes on every week, you know, or multiple times a week, you know. And then you got what's your demographic? You got kids. You got dedicated yeah. painting people. Okay. You got, what's the age range? Okay, we Dang. need to know. This is why we need to see all yeah. of our people, meet more people, have suggestions. Um, yeah. Let me ask them questions. Yep. Uh, Kimberly says, no cash app? I don't have cash. I don't know how to do cash app. I've never done that. I've seen that a lot lately, though. So, so what do you do? You do PayPal May and Venmo? I have PayPal, Venmo, um, but cash app. I'll it may Message me and remind me, and I'll take a look at it, because so many people have been asking me that lately, I guess. Um, I need to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because uh, okay, Barbara Barbara James Gordon says thank you. Had a lot of fun, me and my granddaughter. Aw, you guys are so welcome. Have a yes, great night. Please come back and join us again. Aw, spending time with your grandma is the best. I Nathan really Yow, miss that. Thank you. It was a fun evening, and you're, I will come back again. Aw, you're See, welcome. We love that when new people come and join us. They want to come say, back. Yeah. Um, we must be doing something right. Yeah, well, we enjoy Maybe it. A laugh. We enjoy it just as much <laughs> as you enjoy doing it. We enjoy doing it we for really you. We really do. I do. We do. I do. Okay, now, um, Anita Merritt says, yes, I'm coming back for the Christmas hippos. I love hippos. Okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a lot of you out there that love the hippos. Bringing it back Christmas it. style in July. Yeah, that's it. All right, Sarah Ryan says, thank you so much. Have a great night. You're welcome, sweetie. You too. Thank Patricia you. Patricia says, we will be coming back for Stitch. Yeah. So there you go. Be sure as you're checking on our events. Yes. They, you know, it's not, it's not immediately clear which ones are free and which ones are pay. So right. make sure you look in that about section and either do your PayPal, Venmo, or I guess I'm going to have to figure out cash out for you. Okay. Um, and put the, put that, um, 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 pay the fee <laughs> the so that I can send you the link because we will not be going live on Facebook. It will be through Zoom. So I have to email you either a sketch uh -huh. and the Zoom link or just the Zoom link in order to um, be with us. Okay. So we don't want to upset anybody by not knowing That's July 5th. that we're not going live on Facebook for some of these. So make sure you're just kind of paying a, a little bit of attention to those about sections of which ones are free and which ones are not. All right. And Courtney Falls says, you guys are awesome. Aw, thanks, Courtney. And Kimberly Adams says, see you soon. Definitely can't wait for the hummingbird and the orcas. I it's for, I tried to post the hummingbird like three times today, and it was not allowing me to. So I will get there eventually. Okay. If not today, then tomorrow. But yes, we will post it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I think you took care of everybody that had issues. Uh, yeah. We, um, this is we a good always... way for everybody to get their weekend started off on the right foot. Yep, yeah. We always say, even if you come here to the studio, especially if you come here to the studio, it's just a, a small little home basement studio. Right. But you come as a guest and you leave as a friend. And we always feel like we are making friends as we're doing this, even though we're doing it virtually. So, they especially like Sarah Ryan, we have the Sarah Sparrow, we have Christina Mina, we have Anya, we have so many of you that we've heard and seen you over and over again. Sarah, so. Sarah Sparrow from Kal Kalamazoo, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's on tonight with us. No, she's not on with us tonight. We have Rachel in New Zealand, and you know, like we we love seeing. You. We even bought we bought the world map so that we could begin putting little pins in from where, from where been everybody is. So joining gonna, us from. We're gonna do that in July uh, on the ninth as well. Canada, last. New Zealand, yeah. um, uh, Spain, Belgium, Brussels, Belgium. Yeah, so we, we want to do that, too, with you guys on the 9th. Right, Patricia says, another great night. Thank uh, you. You're welcome, Patricia. Thank you and for then, uh, with uh, us. Uh, 
Rhea says, when is the honey? When is the hummingbird again? The hu- did I write it down on there? Yes, yeah, it's Monday, July 27th, 8 p.m. Hummingbird. There you go. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I tried to post it like three times, and it was it kept saying there's an error with your post. Like, now, Laurel says, uh, where do we show you our pictures? So I will, as soon as we're completed with the video tonight, I'll post in a moment. I'll put it up there. Right. And then I will post a thank you and a reminder to post your photos, and you can put them right in that feed. And right, then it's going to take a few minutes for her to do that, post yep. it, and then once she posts it, then you can put your pictures right in there. Yep. So thank you guys so much. And then, um, okay, we got one more. Go ahead. Karen says, um, what's your Venmo name? Venmo is Jennifer-Walters-72. It's in the um, it's in the video itself. If you.